I won $25,000 in a national science competition for this. Hi, my name is R. Vargava and I'm a senior at the Potomac School in McLean, Virginia, and I'm a finalist for Generon Science Talent Search. In my freshman year, I joined the Science Engineering Research Center at my school. And the whole goal of the program was to create a novel, unique research project in any region of science. I want to do something that centers around my interests. I volunteer to coach disabled children to swim, and I also do robotics, and you know, prosthetics was the perfect fusion of these interests. I started researching the field of prosthetics. I did a shadowing opportunity at a local prosthetist's office, and then I also was able to look at the high-tech forms of prosthetics at Walter Reed, the military hospital. When I was talking to these amputees, these professionals, I was asking the question, what is the biggest problem in prosthetics to date? The one word that they all said was accessibility. There are nearly 40 million amputees in developing countries who need prosthetics and only 5% have them. And that's due to two reasons. One, these prosthetics are thousands and thousands of dollars. And then second, if you're an amputee, you need access to a professional to fit you for a prosthetic and maintain it over the years. That's really just not feasible in these developing countries. So what I wanted to do is create a very low cost and universal fit transradial socket that would be able to accommodate any length amputation for transradial amputees and also circumferences. So the ultimate goal would be to take this prosthetic, put it in these kits and distribute thousands of kits into these developing countries. Each amputee would just be able to take a kit, fit themselves and just have a prosthetic for the rest of their lives. The goal would be also to make these prosthetics very low cost. So the goal was under $40 and I was able to create this device and has circumference and length adjustment. So you can adjust the circumference almost like a bike helmet where you just turn the dial and then it adjusts the cuff and compression. So with this device, I was able to test it with two amputees and it was able to accommodate both amputees. And so next year, I will be attending Harvard College to study biomedical engineering. And with that, I want to continue to develop my prosthetic device into the entire body powered prosthetic and then be able to distribute it globally I think with the help of a lot of these you know, very smart researchers and, and some of the people I'll meet at Regeneron, I will be able to develop this fully and distribute it and uh, do all that.